First of all, we'd like to convey our sincere condolences to the families as well to the entire nation for our soldiers who got injured and died while trying to defend the poor and vulnerable people of the RC. Indeed, they did not die in vain. Hearing reports from uh, the UN that um, these rebels have sophisticated weapons, uh, ground-to-air missiles that are very expensive, and there are also reports that these weapons uh, could have come from Rwanda. That's an allegation that Rwanda has denied uh, because rebel groups are not known to have such sophisticated weapons. It requires people with a lot of expertise to manage them. And uh, so the, there's a lot of tension. Uh, people are very scared. Uh, there are some... So according to what we have gathered so far, um, you know, the fighting has intensified significantly over the past week in an area known as Sake, a town known as Sake in the east of the DRC. And uh, about two days ago, the M23 rebels had moved in on that area, launched a very fierce battle, and they had almost captured the area. But South African troops were deployed. They came in supporting the Congolese army and they repulsed them from that area. So they pushed them back to some mountains that are a few uh, kilometers away from there. And soon after that fighting, the M23 rebels issued a statement saying that the South African troops, uh, along with the other uh, uh, troops from Sadak, Malawi and Tanzania, are using very heavy artillery firing rockets in their positions and in areas that are occupied by civilians and they're going to revenge they said that they are going to go after them at their bases so this attack at the military base of the south african uh, troops is is a clear you know in indication in what they had earlier threatened that they are going to go after these south african troops the m23 saying they're saying they're very determined to liberate that area of sake which is still under the control of the government forces backed by troops from sadak and some pro-militia group known as wazalendo so um some people in that many people in that area have fled the area they have been told to leave because the fighting has really escalated and uh their fears that it might get worse in the days to come she has uh, been speaking to a journalist who has been covering that area in that uh part of the drc in the east and he said that the m23 rebels are about um some hundreds of miles from they're on top of hills that overlook the, the the town of sake it's a very strategic town that is about 23 kilometers from the eastern city of goma goma is a city that has a lot of ngos that are coordinating you know the relief uh, efforts to help people who have been displaced most of them have their headquarters there it's a very important area the un peacekeeping mission has also said that they're going to help the congolese army to prevent that uh, city from falling into the rebel hands. And so from what we have heard, the South African troops are based in an area that is close to the Congolese army in the city, in the town of Sake. And they have really played a very important role of pushing the rebels back from capturing that area. And that has really angered the, the M23 rebels. We have also been hearing reports from uh, the UN that uh, um, these rebels have sophisticated weapons, uh, ground-to-air missiles that are very expensive, and there are also reports that these weapons uh, could have come from Rwanda. That's an allegation that Rwanda has denied uh, because rebel groups are not known to have such sophisticated weapons. It requires people with a lot of expertise to manage them. And uh, so the, there's a lot of tension. Uh, people are very scared. Uh, there are some NGOs that have already evacuated the town of Sake. They're fearing that it might fall into the hands of the rebels because the rebels have said they are very determined. They have issued a statement telling people that we're coming to liberate that town. And that has raised, uh, created a lot of fear. Very many people have fled to the city of Goma. And uh, from Goma, the only place where they can run is Rwanda. And many people look at Rwanda as the enemy. So there's a lot of fear among the population in the east of the DRC. And that is why there have been protests in uh, 
many cities like Kinshasa, Lubumbashi in the, in the central part of the DRC, calling on the international community to do much more to kind of impose sanctions and, and, and um, use their influence over some of these countries that are believed to be backing the M23 rebel. No, there was no mention of South African troops, uh, uh, but we have heard a previous statement. They mentioned particularly Tanzanian troops because they said the Tanzanian troops are the ones who are, have been firing the heavy artillery on their positions and areas uh, occupied, I mean, inhabited by civilians. So they said in that statement that we are going to counter this attack at the source, meaning launch attacks on, on, on these uh, Southern African development uh, forces. It was a general statement. They only mentioned Tanzania. They did not mention South Africa, but because of what I mentioned earlier, about two days ago, South Africa uh, forces came in and helped the Congolese army who had pushed, uh, had retreated to an area. They came and fought and pushed the rebels out of that uh, town of Sake. And I think this is what has really sparked uh, the M23 rebels to fire rockets at their base. And it, it looks like, you know, it might get worse before it, it, it actually gets better because there have been calls by the United States uh, government for both uh, sides to cease fire and, 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 and try and hold a dialogue. But the DRC government is not interested in having any dialogue with the rebels. They say this is a proxy of Rwanda and uh, their aim is to capture some of those lands and plunder the mineral resources there. Rwanda has repeatedly denied the accusation, although there have been reports by a uh, UN group of experts saying that they got evidence of uh, Rwandan forces fighting alongside the, the M23 rebels. So this is, is really turning out into a, a wider regional conflict, you know, with troops from South Africa, Malawi, Tanzania, Burundi, fighting alongside the drc government and uh you know uh, we are told rwanda and the m23 rebels are also putting up a very